All right, welcome to my channel again. Uh, what is today's project? Mm, we're gonna replace this light. Um, one, it's ugly. Two, it's cheap. And three, uh, it was kind of like popping and doing some weird stuff. So um, let's get rid of this thing and we'll put up a more stylish one. Uh, so these are actually aren't too bad to do. So come along and I'll show you what, uh, what goes into it. All right, so let's first, let's get this old fixture down and out of here. Make sure power is turned off also. Forgot to mention that. Oh yeah, this is, yeah, it's one of these uh, dual prong ones. This decent, no, forget it, yuck. Compact fluorescent, get rid of these things. So first thing we're gonna do is loosen up these screws. These typically will attach directly to the ceiling mount electrical box. That one wasn't even fully seated. I'm just going real careful in the box because I'm assessing. So, yep, just a single Romex cable coming in, tied to this with three connections. Black for our hot, white for our neutral, and earth ground. This is a plastic box and it's Romex, so there is a dedicated ground wire. Um, if you have an older house that has a uh, BX cable, you may or may not have that ground. Give them a little twist. Loosen those up. Pop those off. Not a lot of wire strip backing on this either. Okay, and the old fixture is out. So in the instructions, it talks about all your tools required. So screwdriver, flathead, Phillips. Need a ladder, obviously, because we're dealing with the ceiling. Wire strippers, pliers, electrical tape, wire cutters, safety glasses. Uh, and then there is the hardware that comes with this. So you've got this bracket and a few different screws and some new wire nuts. So instructions on these fixtures are usually pretty simple. They usually give you the instructions. So this box has this adapter plate, and that's what has the screws that attach the, uh, the cover. So that has to be the first thing that gets installed. Yep. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just line up I've got these holes in this box that are on corners, and those seem to line up with the spots in the plate. And get it roughly centered. And snug down. You don't have to over tighten these. You don't want to strip out the plastic. These already have a little bit of a kink in them from the uh, wire nuts. Uh, if you watch my lamppost video, I showed doing that. Um, I, I, it's just a technique I found works well for helping things uh, stay uh, tightly connected, uh, especially if you're trying to marry stranded wire to solid wire. So I'm gonna start with the ground just to get that anchored together and we got that and this here comes with the wire nuts We're just gonna screw those on okay i'm also trying to just support the fixture with one hand as well just i don't want the wires to be bearing the brunt of the force same thing now, we're going to take these, we're going to twist these together. And then put the wire nut on. And then lastly, we do the same thing with the black. Okay, and now we're going to 
take these and we're going to tuck these up into the box. One thing I always make sure I do when I do this, you can see I've tucked these in here to make sure that they're secure. And they're actually kind of pushing against the plate too, which is going to help also um, keep that wire nut in place. All right, now that we've got these kind of tucked, this goes up and there are mounting holes here for the screws. And we take our decorator screws. And now put the screws in to secure the fixture to the plate. Well, you can see the black um... yeah, I don't like the fact that it sits proud of the uh Yeah. It's like these holes are too far up, they should have been further down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's see. I, mean, I think it's okay though. Yeah. Because from a distance, right. it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that with this particular fixture. It looks like they, uh... Uh, actually, you know what it is? Huh. Um, the box, the electrical box, is a surface box. It's actually sitting a little bit proud. That's why this uh, that's is sitting proud. So you're stacking up all of those. Uh, so, so essentially that's why I assume the black uh, yeah that's fine it's they they this must have been an afterthought they put that box in all right another thing to clean these off when I mean, you take them out of the box they might have dust and stuff so you can clean them off before you install it make it a little bit easier Retainer. Again, do not over tighten. You don't want to crack the glass. It's just snug. We don't have to go buy a bulb. <laughs> there you go. Keep me from banging my head on the uh, bulbs in the basement, which I do all the time. Yeah, this is an old fashioned one. I have yep. to change it out for an LED eventually, but. Yep. All right, well, forgot to pick up a regular you know, LED bulb, so this is an old-fashioned incandescent, but you know what? It does the job for now. And there we go. So, not too bad, easy to install. Obviously, it is electrical. Know your limits if you're not comfortable, but at least this way you could see, hopefully from watching these videos, what goes into it. So if you do have to hire a professional, you'll know that they're doing it right and that they're not trying to you know, nail you for uh, some ridiculous price when, you know, the, the amount of labor required isn't too bad. So you can judge for a reasonable uh, estimate from somebody. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you got a lot out of this. Please hit that subscribe button, like uh, notification bell. It'll show up on your list when uh, I put up a new one. See you later.